Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, it's Barberry Part 2. Just yesterday, I finished the first repot of my three barberries. I got that into a nice small oval pot. Take a peek at that in the video. I'll put it up there if I remember to do all that good stuff. And you can see that one turned out really nice. We cut a lot off. We had It kind of had this very interesting like heart with veins sticking out of it look. Uh, we'll chop some more, more of that off later. I had two more barberries. So in part two, I, I got started with these guys. So the first one I took out of the pot was the smaller of the two and the smallest of my three in my collection from my father. And so I went ahead and I got rid of all the soil and I uh, uh, cleaned that one up. I actually had three rocks that were underneath there. So this might have been a, a root over rock or tree over rock vision uh, that uh, I don't know if I'm able to do that anymore. The second tree was the biggest one of my three barberries and this uh, had uh, has all kinds of dead stuff on it and some life and it's just a Big old gnarly thing, we're gonna see if we can trim that down and get that to size as well. So here are the trees after I took them apart. Oh, and by the way, this was one of those uh, maple seeds from my neighbors that just kind of flies into my pots. And there's my little maple tree with this uh, weird V in it right now. And got all of these roots. Look, look at that root right there. Look at that, that's, that's, 12, that's 12 inches plus over to that right side there. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can salvage that tree for a later uh, forest planting or something like that. So we have trees to deal with. We're gonna take the big monster one and put that one aside as well and try this little one. So again, I had three of these uh, rocks sitting in here in the pot and I didn't even notice that until I really started tearing into it. But then I realized this piece was loose after a couple of little cuts and these two are no longer completely conjoined. And so I was gonna see if I could untangle them. I think I might have to do a little bit more cutting before I can do that, perhaps. I just don't know what's going to come out of that other side. Oh, I got a little bit of breaking action there. Oh, there we go. Something snapped. There we go. So this looks at, like it has no life to it at all, but it has roots down here. And those roots are completely, oh, they were actually, all right here, here we go. This is completely a goner. This was roots to the alive portion that I just ripped off, and that was probably the most roots I had left on this really gnarly looking uh, system here. So these barberries, um, at least out of the ground anyway, if you haven't touched them for a long, long time, get super duper gnarly, and they, they grow all over each other. And it's... Uh, Pretty intense, so this is some pretty dead wood. I've got a little bit of a fine roots right there. If we cut that off, if I cut that one off, these are getting kind of kind of soft and mushy. Yeah, that one's, that one's no good. So I mentioned in my last video that these barberries don't tolerate a lot of um, sitting in the moisture. And so I think this one in particular almost perished because this was the one that got the wettest. And so I'm gonna have to make sure that I keep these uh, away from uh, too much moisture um, and they do a little bit better. So I have some scraggly roots on this one. I don't know if this is one that we actually keep or we just say this one has been done. Um, there are some feeder roots on here that remain, but not very much. It sits awkwardly tall. I mean, this is, this is the weirdest looking tree structure I've ever seen. Almost looks like a person with legs here and it's, it's sitting down in a chair. I don't know if this one's gonna survive. So I could plant it just to see, but I would wanna do some kind of cleanup here. And this is pretty dead stuff, so it's hard to cut where I wanna cut it. So, oh, look at that. We have some more destruction. Look at there. All right, there we go. Yeah, so no real roots on there. And so this, this is the tree right here, hugging, hug, hugging to life right here. And there we go. And I don't know what, if anything, that would ever do.
we got one little root out here. There's some life, life to the uh, this side over here, but it's been it's been hacked away so much already that this might be one that we just call it. There is not a lot of leaves to uh, roots to support that, and I don't know how well a barberry is going to respond to that massive of a pruning. So this massive gnarliness, I think we're going to say goodbye to. I suppose I could put this into some dirt and just see, but it has a very ugly trunk. It would take a lot, a lot of, a uh, lot, a lot of luck, I think, to get this anywhere. There is green uh, buds shooting in the tree, which again is a good time to repot. In my spring season here, we've got some feeder roots down here, but not a ton. I suppose. I suppose it doesn't hurt to try. We just cut this thing up a little bit more here. My other barberry I did yesterday is just in such better shape that maybe it's not all worth all this stress. Talk about a stick in a pot, huh? Well, maybe if I have a small pot that I want to put this in, we will uh, take a look at this one. I think that might be one of those where we're just going to have to say goodbye to. So the big one is next, and this one has been through some tough times too, and this again has that image of a great big lilac clump of lilacs that just broke off, and you could see me there, just pull that apart. Let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah, I think there's some movement there, finally. Yeah, that's, that wants to split, but that's really, really still tough in there. So you can see there's one or two branches in here, three branches with this one still alive. There's two uh, trunks kind of meshing into themselves right there, but you know, they're, 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 they're fusing together. They look really atrocious. You can see there's a little bit of a, an attempt at life back here. I don't know if that'll sprout back up, but we do have a fair amount of feeder roots on this thing. So this could shoot up some new sprouts and we could be okay. We could be okay, but there's just, just not a lot of, uh, not a lot of pretty images to this. I'm going to use my ratchet pruners again from Tom here. Get rid of this big root right here. So let's do that. Because that is so like butter. There we go. And we got this, this down here. I can cut that off. And this looks like some pretty cool dead wood right here. But it's just going to rot away. So after, I think, two years in my backyard, yeah, a lot of this is starting to uh, really decay, which is good. It looks really old and it looks kind of like this, this right here. This all died naturally. So this stump right here is not too bad, except for this part right here. So we can go ahead and like break these off like this and make that look a little bit more natural. That's not so horrible anymore, but this is all starting to decay. There's a, uh, Leftover bark peeling off. And then this has some dead feature too. That's kind of nice right in there. You know, of course, if I went ahead and put rocks around here and made this some kind of a tree that was growing around a rock, you know, you could do that. That's a possibility here. But uh, got all this dead stuff in here that's just starting to peel away now. I just don't know what I'm going to do with this one either. So we got a good chunk of it off though. We got rid of some of the sloppiness. So I'll take a peek at my pots that I have, see if there's something I want to do to recycle this tree right here. Just gave a fresh little spritz of water onto these roots. And there are a lot of fine feeder roots on here. We have a very interesting tree here. You know, we have a bit of a hollow part at the bottom, so we have this kind of mound here that I can you know, sit and put my, slip my tool right through. And I'm just, I just worked away a whole bunch of what I think are roots that I'm not going to be using. 
like right there, one grown in a really weird direction. But I have some like life right there. There's there's some new roots right there. Now this part, this part is old, but this is new under here. This is all new. Just kind of an older section here, but it looks more natural. So I took a, sh a nice uh, wood carving tool. I got rid of all the um, moss in here and the soft dying tissue. I scraped some stuff off. So every once in a while when I scrape up here, I lose some uh, some bark. And I kind of took um, I took a really big uh, uh, branch splitter and I got some of the gnarly roots off the bottom there. You can see the yellow underneath there. So that kind of helped get that in there. And then I use my medium-sized nibblers to nibble some pieces off here. And again, this looks all realistic and broken down and dead wood. It's going to rot away eventually, but it looks okay for now. And here was that piece I was telling you about. When lo and behold, when I was looking down here, there's a bud right here. There's a bud right down there. There's a bud right there and a bud right there. I knocked one of them off, I think. So as much as this thing is in rough shape, it's got life and it wants to come back. So we are going to salvage this one for sure and put it in a pot and see what happens to this really fun, old, gnarly um, tree. So these two I'll leave alone. I was considering sawing that whole thing off, and I still could saw this half off possibly, or get rid of this one and leave this stump. But I think it gives life and character to this tree. So for how wild and crazy it is, I might as well keep all that for now again. And in future years, this will probably all just rot away and die off and hopefully it won't uh, affect the tree too much. I probably could cut this right here and it would probably be okay. Um, now, the problem with this tree right now though is I don't like this stump back here. I'd like to cut that off. And these two trees have, these two branches here have started to mold together. Uh, but I wanna cut this back one off. So I thought I would show you attempting that. So again, I have my branch splitters here. So if I just go up here and give it an old branch split, an old branch split. Perhaps we can take our tools and wiggle some of this free. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get my ratchet pruner in here. Yep. Dead wood, but that's still cutting through that. So again, this this uh, branch splitter. And do just that and we can try to break this stuff off in pieces parts like it broke off with a storm or something bumping into it so I'm just trying to there we go create a couple of weak points and if I can grab it and there we go twist that off like that now I've got a little bit more natural of a split there there we go so just trying to make this look a little bit less cumbersome in the back, if that is the back. And again, all this is dead, so there we go. Just kind of breaking that off. I could probably use the pliers. There we go. I don't want to get too close to that branch. And maybe I already have. Scratched a little bit into some live tissue there. So there we go. This, this looks better than a cut. So I don't have a, a, a perfect... There we go. Something was ripped off here. And I've got a tree in my front yard that ripped off years ago and there's a branch just like this and it's starting to heal up over here like it, over time it's getting it's fixing itself. You know, this might not fix as neatly now, but that looks more like it was ripped off in a storm, a little bit more like that than what it was before. So we can take another piece of uh, wood here tool and scrape this down a little bit and go in a downward motion so it, so it split down and it broke when the wind came and just kind of ripped it right off. It's, and again, if this is the back side, I'm not too concerned about it. And we'll see if this heals over time. So, so there's that. So there was a great big nub there. And we just cleaned that up real nice. Now from the front, it looks like these two branches are marrying each other. 
and they are they kind of formed into each other now do we want to keep that long term i don't know uh, probably not so now the next thing i want to do is i want to get this thing shorter too right so what if i go ahead take the knob cutter in here i don't know if it's wide enough up here so you can hear the crispy on that that's just dead There we go. So again, we have a branch that we can just do some of this with and, and try to break it up a little bit here. There we go. So this branch is never going to survive. It's going to probably rot off and die off anyway. So if we can just try to make it somewhat a feature on here. And the lower I go, the less opportunities I have to make it pretty here. But even that now is better than it was. It was way up to here, super big. This one, all the bark peeled off. This one still has some rough images on it of bark. And this one is all curly and crazy. And so this is a really interesting structure here now. And it's still alive. So I love how some trees will tell a story. And this one has been through torture. It's really, really old. It's got a lot of uh, stuff uh, going wrong about it. Uh, but it also, it, it's a trooper, it stays in there and it's surviving. So we're going to try to see if we can get this thing to stay alive this year and keep on growing. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and trim this guy a little bit shorter before we put it in a pot. And I won't be able to manip manipulate my tools around. This was a rune probably from last year. See if I can get down to some live wood so it can heal better. Really close to the live wood here. So I think we can maybe leave it like that for now. I can maybe take my little uh, Nibblers here, as Mr. Saunders calls them. See if I can get this a little bit more concave. We're getting some live tissue in there. So that looks a little bit better. So we ripped off this part of the branch back here. It's got some life here. This hopefully can take off and survive. Let's see if we can get this a little bit shorter here. And these are super brittle. It feels like they're dead, but there's leaves right there. It's alive. It wants to shoot out some new growth, so we'll get it some fresh soil, put it back in the cold frame, and we will hope for the best with this guy. All right. So this is the big tree, and this was the small pot that I had the other tree in. Does it fit? It actually kind of just barely fits. It allows plenty of room for more growth of these roots. It makes for one big old tree. It's kind of that borderline pot, but it's gonna sit in there just fine. I probably don't have to wire this one in because it just sits in there right nicely. Put a little soil in there, snuggle it in there, put some soil on top and let this thing take off. And we're just gonna leave it there. We're not gonna worry about how that's going to be uh, positioned in there because it only fits one way. The other option, of course, is to put it back into its original pot. This might be the better call because it really has room to grow and mature in there and that just, maybe it's just a little bit too small in that one. Let's put it back in the big pot. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to clean this up, make sure I have all my drain, uh, drainage streams in there. It looks like one fell out. Here it is right over here. Let's get these cleaned up and we'll uh, repot this one. Drainage screens are in. The mound of soil is right there. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the pot and fill her on up. Mm -hmm. 
My experience with barberries tells me that these uh, do not like to sit in a lot of water. So I've got a nice medium, some larger uh, uh, soil on the bottom. Tamping all this soil in there. Um, I don't want this to sit in water a lot, these barberries. So we want the water to be nice and free draining. So this is brand new soil for this tree. And uh, the water should just uh, really go right through it really nice. So we're going to go ahead and give it some water and give it that first test. We are making a mess in the plant room on this barberry repot. So I have a lot more of the root exposed than before. Um, and it shows all its gnarly twisted bark and it's dying and decaying. But that's okay. We're going to leave it that and see if this tree survives this year. And we have a really cool root system. I could put a little bit more soil in here to mount it a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of that. But I think this one's good for now. We're going to get this back into the cold frame. We've got some new buds shooting up over here like I mentioned. Yeah, over here, back underneath here and here. So there's life over here. That's where most of the roots were. There were some roots over here. We'll see what happens. There's a couple of more um, real flat parts, like right here I could cut up a little bit. Flat part right here I could cut up a little bit. So again, if I were to just take my little uh, nibbler tool and kind of take it and crack it down like this. There we go. Take another tool here and crack it down a little bit there. It looks a little bit more natural up here on top now. There we go scratched up and plucked away so even that part now right there looks not so flat this right here would be another one so if i go ahead and just you know chip away and make some gnarly cuts to this thing scratch it up a little bit we can make this side look a little bit more realistic too so i'll whittle away at that a little bit later we're going to put this one over to the side for a little bit. We're going to see if we can get that other little uh, one in the uh, pot or see what I'm going to do with that maple. See if we can salvage that for a later repot. Well, I was called away, everyone, a little longer than I anticipated. So we just uh, made a couple of quick decisions off camera, and I thought I'd share them with you, and we'll wrap this one up and keep it short and simple. We got the big one all taken care of. And uh, here was the little one that had very little roots on there. I put this in this uh, nice uh, uh, octagonal shape. Uh, Japanese pot that I have and uh, we've got green on there we've got a few little roots in there we'll see if this one survives we'll put this back out in the cold frame um, and hopefully this thing continues to uh, sprout some new growth and then I took the um, maple tree that had this much roots on it I cut almost all of them off and I stuck it in this round little trainer pot here we've got a Y for right now I might cut off one side here in the future but I got two buds on there two buds on there we're gonna make sure this thing grows up and then we'll do some pruning later in the summer and then the other one that kind of came apart, yeah, that is the ugliest looking thing I have ever seen in my life. I think it looks like a human being walking down the side of the road there with his one arm and his other arm is tucked in his pocket or behind his back here. And yeah, we're just going to throw it away. Yeah, that ain't going to make it. All right. Hey, we got some barberries now all repotted. I've got uh, two that I think are going to do okay. The small one from yesterday, the big one from today, and then this little itty bitty one with a little bit of root structure. We'll see and then we'll know how harsh we can cut roots down in the future if that one survives. Then a little maple to boot and that is going to do it. Hey, thank you for joining me. Take care of you. Take care of your bonsai and we'll catch you all very soon everybody.